Okay guys, so I thought I would do something a little bit different for this video and show you my top five apps and programs that I use frequently on Mac OS. Now without wasting any time, let's just get straight into it. And we'll start with a program that a lot of you guys have been asking about for the last couple of weeks. And that is TG Pro. Now this is really interesting because it can monitor the temperature and also the fan speed of your Mac device. Now, as you can see up here, I have the temperature of my CPU. And if we click this, we'll get a drop down menu and you can see a lot more information. And if we actually open up the main window, we can see here we get this really, really cool visual display of all the different cores and components within the Mac and their temperature, which is great to see the overall temperature of your computer at a glance. And then we have the CPU, which is gonna tell you a pretty accurate reading of how hot the CPU or essentially the M1 chip is. Now, as I'm using a MacBook Air for this video, I don't have the option for the fans, but as you can see here, it will give you a really nice readout for the fans if you have one, and it also lets you actually customize the fans. So for example, if you're gaming or rendering a video and you don't mind if the fans are extra loud, you can turn them up to their highest setting using the manual controls in TG Pro. Now, TG Pro itself is completely free, I did pay the $10 to upgrade to the pro version because it just gives you a little bit more customizability. It's also really handy because it will very easily give you a battery health reading here. So it will tell you the condition and it will also tell you the charge cycle count. And that saves you having to go up into about this Mac and then clicking on system report and scrolling all the way down to the battery section. Now moving on to my next most favorite app and that is Night Owl. So Night Owl allows you to switch between light and dark mode at just the click of a button. So you can see right now we're in dark mode. If I click light, it instantly changes to light. And if we go back to dark, instantly changes back to dark. So as we can see here with a finder window, having light and dark mode on really, really makes a difference. And for me personally, it was a big pain to actually have to go into the system preferences every time just to switch between dark and light mode. Now, Night Owl is completely free. I believe there is an upgraded version you can buy. And you can also come in here and you can schedule sunrise and sunset or a manual time, which is really, really cool to have right on the homepage at just the click of a button. Now guys, just a quick bonus tip. I never ever see people using this and I don't know why because I've used it myself for years and I love it. There is a function on macOS where you can actually have several desktops. So if you press the F3 key on the keyboard, you will actually see that you can add as many desktops as you want and you can add different programs and different files to each desktop. So for example, we can have a finder window open in this one. And then if we switch to the other one, we can open up a different finder window, such as the applications. And then if you're using a MacBook, you can use the trackpad to instantly switch between them. Or if you're using a desktop Mac, if you hold the control key and use the arrow keys on the keyboard, you can switch between the desktops very easily. Or obviously you can press the F3 key and this will let you see all of your different desktops and you can close them down if you want. So this is very, very handy, especially for students or people that are working. And let's say you need Safari open in one tab, Chrome open in another one, and then you've also got Excel. You can switch between all of them with just a swipe of the finger. Now, moving on to my third favorite app, and that is Magnet. Now, I've been using Magnet for a couple of years now. It does cost a couple of dollars from the App Store, but this adds a really, really handy function that I believe, in my opinion, should come standard with macOS because you have this feature already in Windows. And that is the ability to snap Windows to different parts of the screen. So let's say, for example, we open up a new Safari window. If we have Magnet enabled, you can see now that if I actually drag this up into different areas or corners of the screen, it gives you options to quickly and instantly resize the window. So if we wanna drag it up into the middle, that's gonna make it full screen. If you wanna drag it over to the right, it's gonna make it half screen. And then we can even drag it down into the corners and we can snap it into a corner just like that. And let's say, for example, we open up Word as well. We can then snap that up in the corner as well very, very easily and switch between the two. 
You also do get some keyboard shortcuts. And if you just click down this little drop down menu, it instantly gives you a list of all of the different resizing options available to you. Moving on to app number four, and that is Authy. So if you guys didn't know what Authy was, it's essentially another version of Google Authenticator. Now, I much prefer using Authy because if you lose your phone and you've only got Google Authenticator on that phone, you could be screwed for pretty much all of your two-factor logins. With Authy, this will sync across your mobile and also your desktop. I have it on my iPhone, my Windows computer, and also on all of my Macs. And it syncs across all of them seamlessly with no issues. And the best part is that Authy is completely free. It's also super handy because it syncs in the cloud. So if you do lose a device, it doesn't matter. You have all of your login tokens on a different device or saved in the cloud. Now using Authy is as simple as setting up Google Authenticator. You literally just scan a barcode and it's added straight into Authy and it's synced and saved to all of your devices. So the next time you try to log into a two-factor website, just click on Authy, click the copy button and then paste it and you're good to go. Now this last option is for the minimalists out there. So as you can see up here, my icon tray is starting to get a little bit crowded and cluttered and some people don't necessarily like that. So I found a little app called Vanilla and if we open up Vanilla, we can see we get this little dot up here and it essentially means that we can reorder and hide icons on the dock. So if we hold the command key and let's say for example, we drag the Wi-Fi icon over to the right hand side of the dock and then we close this you can see everything gets hidden and then if I click on this little arrow I can pop it out or hide it whenever I want now let's say for example I'm sick of that little Wi-Fi symbol and I don't want to look at it anymore hold down command on my keyboard drag it over and then the next time I close the tray they all disappear by the way, nothing in this video was sponsored. I bought all of these apps with my own money and I don't have any kind of referral links to any of these apps. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in some more macOS tips and tricks or you want to see even more apps that I personally use, let me know in the comment section below. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.